All right, today we're gonna to be rebuilding my 3D printer's hot end because I broke the thermistor on it. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to actually see that, but a little glass bead on the end of that thing is cracked. And I figured I'd go ahead and just replace everything because it's uh, it's getting kind of old. This aluminum heater block is kind of uh, getting stripped out and the threads aren't very good. And the parts are fairly cheap for this thing, so I figured we'd go ahead and just replace everything. So in this bag, I've got a set of five heater blocks, nozzles, and uh, nozzle throats, or whatever you want to call these things. Now these parts should be all compatible, and they should all be at least very, very similar to the original ones. The only thing that I'm noticing right now is that the nozzle is quite a bit bigger for some reason on the uh, the new parts. Should be a zero point yeah zero point four millimeter nozzle still, but the, uh, the diameter of it or the the physical size I mean is bigger for some reason. Not that that'll make too much of a difference. Um, the nozzle throat piece that I have in here is actually the wrong size. This is supposed to be 30 millimeters long on my printer and I have a 26 millimeter one is the one that I'm using. These new ones should be the proper length, so those are just a tad bit longer as they should be. So this shouldn't be too bad to uh, go ahead and start to assemble. The nozzle should just screw into here. Nozzle screw in there. This piece will go in like so with that tube going toward the bottom or going toward the nozzle. I have to tighten all this up, but that's like that. And in here, I should have a set of heater cartridges and thermistors. So there we are. Now, of course, I really only needed to replace that one thermistor, but as I said, I figured I'd go ahead and replace that heater block because it's starting to get stripped out and it's not in very good shape. And I decided to just buy five of everything because it's pretty cheap to just get these things in uh, bulk, I guess you could say. So I see five heater cartridges on this end and I see five thermistor connectors. Not really sure why they have the connectors on. I'm not sure what printer these are for exactly. The wires on these are more than long enough to go to anything. Here's what a new thermistor looks like. Not too much different than the ones that I broke. But anyway, these are I think 100K thermistors. I believe that these guys are 100K thermistors. Uh, and the heater cartridges are 40 watts at 12 volts. And in theory, this guy can slide in, well, it'd be this way. A little bit like so. And then our thermistor can go up in there. I believe is how it should work. It looks like with these heater blocks, I'm gonna have to glue these guys in somehow, which might be a little bit annoying because I'm not sure if I have anything here. Press fit might be enough, but it's not something you really wanna take a chance on. This other one actually had a set screw, the thermistor as well. So when you put that in, it would uh, hold the thermistor down. This one doesn't have that. It just has two set screws for the heater cartridge. All right, so I've got the nozzle and the nozzle throat nice and tight. Go ahead and spin this nut down on here and we'll go stick it in the printer. All right, so now we're gonna take this guy and thread it on in here until it starts to come up through our uh, extruder, which I've taken the fan off the side of it so we can see the inside. And this should go up to about right there, I believe. I want it to be like so. And what we do is we take the nut on the bottom and we spin that up to the top. All right, so I've gotten everything tightened up here and we should be ready to get the wiring sorted out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and prepare all this wiring before we go and put it on the printer. 
so in the past, as you can see by this, I've used an XT60 connector for the heater cartridge and a JST connector for the thermistor. And that's worked out pretty well, so I'm going to go ahead and take the JST and the XT60 off of this set. And we'll re-solder them onto our new parts, so I'm going to go ahead and cut our heat shrink back a ways and we'll salvage this connector. All right, so I guess the question now is, do we get a good temperature measurement if we plug in the thermistor? And there we go, it's reading 24.8 degrees. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and push this guy up into the hole, which uh, it feels like it'll hold itself in there pretty well, but I'm not convinced that that's a very good or permanent solution to that. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and do that and slide the heater cartridge on in there and we'll tighten that up. We should be ready for a bit of a test print. All right, so after a bit of temperature tuning on that printer, I managed to get this, which still isn't perfect and it's pretty much back to where it was before I started all of this mess. And overall, it looks pretty good. It just has this one bad spot up here right on the front of the boat. Not really sure what's causing that. I guess I have some more tuning to do. I have my belts tight and everything else, so I'm not real sure what I can do about that. And I do know that my printer's capable of doing this because I printed this one quite some time ago, and it's pretty much perfect. So, But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.